Hi, we're John and Leah, and we are at Warwickshire Shopping Park. Just for about half an hour, going to go around and do some shopping and having a look yeah. around. This is our first like autumn, winter shopping trip, so I'm hoping lots of fall things, lots of Christmas decoration. I think it's just going to be Christmas everywhere. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. What have you seen? I've just seen Costa. Of course you have. Costa. <laughs> it's what's really funny is if someone doesn't know what Costa is, they just think you've seen yeah. a person. You're like, I've, I've just seen, seen Costa. Costa, the guy. <laughs> the Greek man. Yeah, Costa, Costa the Greek. <laughs> we might go back to Costa and get a coffee. Leah actually got me a voucher for Costa so I could get it on Leah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to go have a look at some books, aren't we, over there? Yeah. Do you want to see if Charity there's any? shops are really good for second-hand books and there is a few that I'm oh. after. Bernardo's as well? Yeah, we could have a quick look at Bernardo's. That's brilliant. That's great. Fabulous. I heard the knee click, Joel. The knee or was it the back? Awful. No, it's the knee. I was just checking if I got builder's bunks and saw the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No. Any goodies? Well, I'm just looking for any by Taylor Jenkins Reid because that's who I want to start reading more of because I love that book. I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite hard to look for a specific author, but I don't think I've seen any so far. Okay, so. I'll keep my eyes peeled as well. Yeah. What's that one? <laughs> I've picked up what sport tells us about life for Arch. And then this one for his sister, she listens to their podcast. She always picked up some... I've got a book called Clockmaker's Wife, set in wartime Britain. And then this one about trans, trans people. So I don't really know, I want to educate myself. Yeah, that's These good. are two for a pound, so I was like... Yeah, got to be done. All right, we've just left with four books for two pounds. That's so good, 50 people. So brilliant. That's so good, Leah bought mine, so thank you. <laughs> that's okay. I didn't pick up any for myself, I picked up for other people, but Joel's done some educating for himself and some nice reading, which what is lovely. Bernardo's, do you want to have a look? Oh, I mean, I don't want them to think we no, took these books. The you have a little whiz around, whiz have a little whiz. Really yeah. It looks like I'm like taking the shop. <laughs> I'm looking for my camera. I always get really nervous, like rummaging in a shop for something. Oh I'm yeah, not I'm not meaning. We first purchases two chocolate two Santas. Chocolates. Just realized one. Oh, oh, I've realized. Tree decoration. Yeah, you could thread your little wire through it. Oh, that's clever. And just have that hanging off the tree, but that will be a before Christmas purchase, guys. It's October. You can get mold cider oh. kits or mold wine kits. That's so cute. With those little tankard glasses. That's that is really so cute. cute. And what did you see? You saw. So I saw this 24 days of June advent calendar. Yeah. So this one, no offense to the range. But I won't get this one because when I went to Costco, yeah. I had one for fifty pounds, so it was expensive. Right. But every day you got a a new gin, and okay. it's all different flavored gin. And this is only ten pounds, but you get. But I think you get cocktail mixers, garnishes. So some might just be a garnish for a cocktail. And, and you like, want gin every I want day. The gin every day, a double G and T. <laughs> it's making you sound like such a gin gin. I know, but it's just yeah. I love it. It's really good idea. <gasps> I love festive cushions. I just saw that and thought of you. Yeah. The more grandma, the more you. Yeah, literally. My boyfriend's like, can you just get some style? And I'm like, I do. You're like, <laughs> hello. This is, style. this is style. It wouldn't be in the range if it wasn't Exactly. Style. I mean, I do quite like the Robin. Robin Redbreast. Oh, yeah. Classy. 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 That one's nice as well. Oh, we love it. <laughs> stuff just like it gives people something to do doesn't it yeah it brings joy oh, festive joy. tea towels love oh, it that's nice i like the green when are john leah bringing back tea towels we just comment don't know comment below <gasps> bedding sorry i thought that's a joel but it's not oh that would be better yeah you, that joel. would actually be nice and that's nice as well, a little Sherpa blanket. We love a bit of Sherpa, don't you? Oh, yeah. Right, let's go and get inspired. Okay. Okay. There's still Halloween stuff going on. No, we don't like spooky, do we? We really don't. We prefer the Christmas hours. Yeah, animals. it's straight to Christmas now for us. Right, we're on our way upstairs. We're on our way up. There's Ooh. even more Christmassy things up here. And a bit of furniture, you know, I love a bit of boucle. Oh, boucle. I think that's what we Okay, let's go into the Christmas stuff. Let's go to what makes you happy, girl. We love Christmas. Now, these are quite fun to put outside your house. Yeah, these are fun. Lanterns. So, what do you think to Christmas tree skirts? Because we're in the skirt section. I quite like them. I, I prefer these. Yes. Like skirts wicker thingies. That are made out of wicker. Yeah. Some people can go for the full, the full furry skirt. Yeah. Have you ever had a skirt on a tree? I don't know that I have. I think this one might be all right. 
glitz and glam. Glitz and glam. That one I'd never. No, never. Never. Oh, you can and buy sacks. Ever... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Did you ever get one of these when you were a kid? Yeah. Like on your door? I love them. Like, why does that stuff stop? I know, why? can't our parents oh, keep like, it going? You know, 30, I'm nearly Ish. 30. Yeah. But please, buy. Please, so mum, come you on. Could just put him in. Just be like, yeah. that's, I know it's what you wanted. Chocolate. Yeah, thank you. That is so cute. Well, I'm, this is a doorstop and I just think it's really cute. But I am in the market for a pumpkin doorstop. Oh, like that's one nice. Made out of felt. It's amazing that you're in the there. market for one of these. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I just am. You're in the market for a pumpkin doorstop. <laughs> I've seen YouTubers. Just get a real film. one. I'm in the market for a fake rock that's in the shape of a lion with a crown on it. <laughs> I'm just in the you market for it. Oh my gosh. I'm in the market for a frog with like a silver crown on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so random. Some of the stuff. Do you know what, Joel? What? Some years, mm. people change their theme every year. Yeah. That is an expensive hobby. It's so expensive. Isn't What's it? the new colour scheme? Like, this is obviously the pink colour scheme, and I'm like, I wouldn't have a pink tree, but you know, some people might. Yeah. Some people might just be like, this year I'm doing white, next year I'm doing red. That's expensive. I know. I like to buy new decorations every year, but additions, like, yeah. like novelty ones. You're like, oh, I'll add that That's to my nice. collection. That's nice, the collection. Do a whole theme. Whole theme. I know. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Oh, Hello, you. <laughs> oh, I like it. 40 pounds. Oh my gosh, you're not for real. No, I am. I love. I mean, I wouldn't because I don't have a cockapoo. However, I love the concept. A dog lamp. I've got a penguin lamp. I would like a dog one. If it looked like Ava, I'd buy it. That's so funny. Maybe I should get one for Luke and Jack. That is so funny. That would be really funny. Why do people? Should I well, get why that do... for Luke's birthday? Would he like it? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It's really funny. Maybe That's I like, for Luke. do dog lovers really like sort of dog lamps? Yeah. What does it? I but Luke why? I want to get to the why. Because it's it's like cool. It's like quirky. It's like look at me. I'm a bit cool because I'm not a basic bitch that just has white everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, white everything. Yeah. Like. People need to inject some personality into their homes. Yeah, and that you know is I mean? exactly it. That screams that personality. Personality. <laughs> and my, yeah. my, my brother's birthday is in November. You know where it is if you want to get that for him. The range. I'm going to take a pic. Take a pic. I'll ask mum. Mum will say no because mum will say that's hideous. I've just never seen you react so well to anything. You were like, oh, I like oh, I that. that. No, but you know what we also like, and you like this as well, waffle duvets. Yeah, I do like a waffle duvet, but I've... Wooves. <laughs> Wooves. Wooves. But I saw an even better one in Asda Living, which, should we go Asda Living? Yes, go Asda Living. And they've got nicer waffle sets than that. Okay, let's no go to Asda. Range. You're doing really well at the dog lamp. Yeah. Um, but the waffle bedding, something about a textured bedding I really like. Yeah. Okay, we're in Asda Living now. Right, Jolie, let's go this way. Okay. And I'll show you the bedding that I like. Actually got loads of stuff in my little out room in here. Oh, right. Yeah, my little That's shed. Cool. Yeah, you got some good stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, I got some really good bargains wow. in here. And I got um, some really nice stuff for baby stuff in here, like baby clothing for my godson. Oh, this is the waffle set. Yeah, yeah lovely. Nice. We love we waffle. Love. It's just nice. It is nice. Sorry to anyone who buys this, you have to wash it. I always wash bedding before I put it on anyway. Well, this is just the case, isn't it? Oh, it's just the casing, yeah. Good thing, thanks for backing me up. Yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. always. You can tell that we're best friends, because yeah. I was just like, this is nice, because it wouldn't look as the living, because yeah. they, they're imperfect, they look rustic. And Leo was like, bought them. Yeah, I bought them, bought them bought for them. my little room. Amazing. They look really great in the room when they're obviously out of the case. Yeah. They look stunning. And you wouldn't know that that's You'd think they're thing. from like a, a, a sort of shop in the yeah. Mediterranean. Yeah. It's stunning. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, so there we go. I didn't tell Joel that I had bought them, no, but I just taste. got clarification. Yeah. Thank you. Right, should we go and get a coffee and a sit down? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Off we go for a little Costa. It can. feels like the vlogs that we do in America when we're traveling. Does, yeah. <laughs> Any goodies? I'm just going to get a drink. Do you know what I'm livid about? What are you they livid about? I've gotten rid of the Costa tip in. <gasps> The last three times, nice. I just look, there's no tip in. The last three times I've been, no tip in. That's He's livid! <laughs> Someone send Costa this clip, guys, please. That, I'm livid. Where's the tip in? Where is there's it? No tip in. 
Excuse me, my son would like a tiffin. <laughs> my brother, I always had to, when there's ever a problem, I gave look, my brother's really unhappy. Okay, so we just got our books and having a sit down. Yeah, I just thought I I was looking at reviews of this book while I was in the UK -ing, and I have no idea if this is a very critical book about the trans community or whether it's a project that I just want to develop my knowledge. I have no understanding of this book. I don't know if it's the pile of trash or yeah. if it's good. So I'm just saying, I know it's a sensitive issue. Don't cancel me either way. <laughs> Because I'm just trying to learn. Yeah. It was a lovely little coffee stop yeah. and mooch around the shops that really broke up the afternoon. Oh, we love that. We always love a little shop and we didn't we buy do. much. We just bought four books between us, but we love a little mooch. And you've had your eyes on that on a dog lamp that you could potentially buy for your brother. Yeah, I think he might like it, you know, just yeah. for like an office, you know, yeah. the office, something, a fun, quirky little space. Yeah. Jacked a bit of personality in the space, yeah. guys. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And if I don't see it in his house, I'll be like, uh, where's your dog lamp? Where's your dog lamp? I'll oh bit. my gosh, are you that person that buys someone something and they're like, I don't see the uh, the lamp? Yeah, where, where is it? The amount of people that are like, <laughs> they've got something on display in their house because they know they don't like it, but they're like, I can't get someone rid of it because then it. someone I know did that where their cleaner got them a present and they absolutely hate it and they're like, but I can't take it down because they clean my house every week and if I take it down, they'll see that oh I don't my have gosh. it. That's so funny. <laughs> that amazing. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh. When I'm um, this is so unrelated, but it reminded me of it. So the best cleaner we've ever had, ever, 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 was the one that we had when me and Ash lived in Chichester. Oh, yeah, I remember you telling um, me about Edelem. her. And when she left, so we were leaving the flat and she was also going back to Brazil, where her family are from. She asked us if she could have a picture with us, which she said she was gonna put on her mantelpiece in Brazil. And I was like, you are the loveliest woman That's like ever. So cute. Just think, because obviously the language barrier, we only ever said hi, how are you? And do you want a cup of tea, coffee? She always said no, she never had any drinks. That was all the words ever said to her. I was like, all okay, how are you? She used to text me by doing Google Translate. You know when you can yeah. tell it's a little bit, like it's been through Google Translate. Yeah. Anyway, the message I got from her and the picture of the picture on the man of the mantelpiece of the main, she was like, thank you for the trust over the years. Like it's been, I was just like, I wept, didn't I? Obviously, she, I obviously, she must have been treated so badly by other, other people, people in order to you just being yourself and just being nice just and kind nice meant that much to her? Well, she, we, we always, Edlen had keys to the house, like, was just like, I just you know when you just know someone's yeah. not going to be untrustworthy and she was just yeah she was just amazing mm. she must have been treated badly in other places I don't know how we got onto that it was just the cleaner the gift yeah and I reminded myself of me amazing well cleaner. we love a tangent we don't love, we that's we that's us story. all over I love a story <laughs> anyway we hope you've enjoyed this video guys I'm going to focus on the road now and yes Joel's, Joel's okay pick up the outro I'll do the outro thank you for watching if you enjoyed the tangent and you enjoyed the shop subscribe give us a thumbs up subscribe we post videos every single week let us know what you want to see down in the comments below. We know it's getting towards Christmas. What sort of content would you like to see on this channel? Because yes. we can do it. We can do it. Pumpkin patch? Let us know. Let we'll us find know. find one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys Thank for watching you. and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.